All right, well, we got the cultivator out the other night, and you guys might be watching the first and the last of the cultivating video for me. We have a few casualties right there. That's what happens when you cultivate, just simply because dirt flies, tires get off track, off center, and all you know, the plants get run over. But usually for the greater good, there is typically a yield bump from cultivating. My dad actually growing up used to cultivate when it was shorter than this. They used to have the rolling guards to protect the plant. And then they'd cultivate it again when it was about this high. And then they'd go through it a third time when it was just about to the point where you couldn't drive through it. So this may be the first and the last cultivating video I do for the year. Maybe, more than likely not. Uh, there's been some debate here lately if we're going to bother side dressing this year just because we did go through and put a full rate of nitrogen down across the large majority of our ground and we're going to be doing some tissue sampling to see if we're going to go through the trouble it's not much really so much trouble um, but go through and put the money into the crop if it doesn't need it i like to cultivate i do i like the benefits of cultivating i feel like when you stir the dirt up dirt up like you're seeing here typically I wait until the corn is a bit taller so you can run the cultivator deeper and it churns up the soil a little bit more so it typically is summer tillage um, I feel like that it opens the soil up gets air down into the roots and it really does benefit the plants I honestly believe that uh, the only thing is is with having the sprayer the self-propelled sprayer come through uh, later on, um, they can't track down the rows as well because the soil in between the rows is loose. It's softened up and they have a harder time keeping the sprayer on track, which in turn makes it harder to keep from running down rows. So there is a little bit of debate there if we're going to do a whole lot more cultivating. We do have the field that we're in. Uh, the reason that we're in it right now is because we have a lot of volunteer corn. I'm not sure why it is so bad in this field, like just this one part of the farm, um, compared to pretty well everywhere else. This is corn on corn, but we don't have hardly any volunteer corn coming up in our soybeans, which, you know, you typically have a little. So I don't know, maybe it's just the fall. I mean, the the combine was set right. I don't know if we were losing. Well, I almost wonder if we aren't losing more out of the front of the combine or from the combine head. Just from the fact that you're getting really tight groupings of volunteer corn as opposed to just a sporadic plant here and there. Um, that's largely why we're going through and cultivating at the moment is we're just knocking out a bunch of volunteer corn because... It needs to be addressed, and there isn't a, a spray or a chemical you can do that'll that'll get rid of it. Going through and ripping it out by the roots seems to do a, be a pretty effective job. I can see here I'm actually missing a tine. I guess I wasn't watching that close. This was just a trial run the other night. Dad actually ran out and cultivated. I only did four passes, basically just to make sure nothing was loose, nothing was going to fall apart. And it is doing a good job, even though we are missing a tine. Uh, we have the wider sleeps on the back of the machine on the last tine. I actually prefer that largely over the rest of them. And you can see how tight our tolerances are. The 4020 is not set in as tight as it could potentially should be, but the wedges were froze up and it was a pretty well living nightmare just getting it narrowed up as, as tight as it is at the moment. So it's pretty good visual representation of how awake the operator has to be and aware that you have to be pretty conscious of where your tractor is at in the rows as you're going across the field. When the plant's bigger, it's a lot easier. They bend a little bit more. If you catch a plant right now, you just you run over it and it's done. So as far as the soybean stubble we're in right now, um, I don't think we're actually going to go through and cultivate the rest of the corn on bean stubble because the the chemicals that the pre-emerge um, actually have done a pretty good job as far as keeping anything coming up. So we feel like we're not going to go through and disturb any of the rows. Uh, and that way, myself, 
on my ground. I've said that I would actually prefer cultivating corn. I I like to. It's just it's a sprayer issue. I'm just making sure that I'm not hurting myself by getting the benefits of cultivating. But then if the sprayer can't stay in the row, because I do, um, it's it's tillage to me. I, um, I work the roundup so it's pretty soft and. You get on these rolling hills, these contours, and staying down the road can turn into a bit of a headache. I know, because I was riding in the sprayer last year. I, I saw it firsthand. So you got to play into that a little bit. You got to make a decision there if the benefits you're getting from cultivating are worth the potential smashed rows. So I'm not going to say that I'm going to get away from cultivating or quit cultivating, uh, but this year, in particular with the amount of nitrogen we put down beforehand and the fact that prices are where they're at and you're watching your inputs and all that fun stuff um, we're watching our inputs and trying to come up with the decision as to whether or not it's worth putting the extra money into the corn crop and if we're really going to get our money back so that's that's kind of where we're standing on that yeah, we are kind of early for cultivating. Normally it is a little bit taller. I posted a picture the other day and everybody was kind of surprised that we were out doing this. And yeah, I could have waited another week or two, but this corn has really grown in the last week, 80s, and adequate moisture has really done a pretty, really nice job as far as keeping this stuff going and hopefully an early harvest is in our future. But this is all I have for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. Take it easy. Keep in touch.